Hi everybody, it's Dr. Keith Amadeo coming to you from an office today. Today we're talking about the shots again. The reason why I get a lot of questions from patients and just the general public and about these shots, and to me there's two conversations to have. One is the, the scientific or the boring, the one kind of stuff I like to talk about. The other is the rational, you know, the patients that are thinking about taking the shot or already on the shot. So if we want to talk about scientific, you know, we could talk about things like GLP-1 antagonist, uh, beta cells, glucagon, how it correlates to the pancreas, uh, those type things, which I've already discussed in a previous video. So today we're going to talk about more of the rational part, you know, the part, the conversations I have with patients in office. So I want to kind of address that. So first, let's start off with Segmalatuda. It's the same thing as Ozempic and Wagovia. So what happened was, Ozempic's been out for a long, long time. It's been used to manage diabetic type two patients for a long time. So what happened is, once they got their blood sugar regulated, these diabetic type two patients with Ozempic, they realized some weight came off. And so they thought to themselves, hey, why don't we up the dosage? And that's what they did. And that's what got branded Wagovia. And then they said, let's up the dosage again. And that's what Majorno is. So what Majorno has a little bit different biomolecular structure, but basically it's just bigger doses of Ozempic. Then you have Wagovia and Majorno. And so the patients lost weight. So the, what, what they found out, they put these patients under what's called a DEXA scanner. What they found out, these patients were losing 50% muscle mass and 50% fat. Well, that's not safe. That's what is called sarcopenia. It just means loss of muscle mass. That's typically what you see in an elderly patient or a patient that's about to die, unfortunately. So they lose a lot of muscle mass. So that's why they get these patients that have been doing the Majorno long-term or lost a bunch of weight from doing it or getting that what they call the Ozempic phase, the Ozempic phase or Ozempic butt or whatever you want to call it because they're losing so much muscle mass. So that long term, we don't know what that's going to result in. And they're probably losing a lot of micronutrients as well, which is not safe. So these drugs long term, we don't know the result, but we know through DEXA scan and research that they are losing 50% muscle mass. And that's why they have those, that kind of droopy sagging look. And sarcopenia is which, like I said, before death is what happens when we start losing a bunch of muscle mass. So we know long term, maybe not the best thing in the world to do. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of go over some stats with you. This is from Majorner or Ozempic, their, their stats, their data, not mine. So we know the known side effects of just nausea and vomiting. So one third of the patients come off this medication within a week or so just due to that. Then they have gases paresis, or just means paralyzing of the intestinal mu muscles. I, I know I said that kind of nonchalantly, like paralyzing is not a big deal. So what happens is they can't move stuff in and out, even up to six months after stop taking the medication. And I think there has been one known death due to this, um, some blockage, but we know it can paralyze the, the stomach muscles, not safe long-term. Also, you get something called inflammation of the pan pancreas or pancreatitis, very dangerous. Thyroid cancer, obviously very dangerous. And don't underestimate pancreatitis. I know inflammation of pancreas doesn't sound big deal, but that's basically what uh, alcoholics get, pancreatitis. They die before of that way quicker than uh, liver disease, fatty, alcoholic fatty liver disease. Pancreatitis is very dangerous. It's, it's nothing to take lightly. And either it's gastroparesis or nausea or vomiting are the other known, unknown side effects as well. So let me, let me just go through some of their stats. So due to the side effects of these medications, uh, a lot of doctors have already stopped prescribing them. One, because they don't qualify. They're not diabetic type two. And two, they're doing it, they're prescribing them off-label, meaning that they're not prescribing for the use intended. So let's talk about frequency and cost. So this is from their data, not mine. So once a week for four weeks is your standard. That's where you start. And that can be anywhere from 900 to $1,300, depending on you know, depending on where you are. And it says from their data for their trials, Majorno average to lose 25 pounds or 16% of body fat is anywhere from 40 to, 40 to 52 weeks. I know using these medications, results are gonna vary a lot, but I'm just going by their data. So four, let's do the math. So 40 weeks or nine months at $1,000, easy math, $9,000 to lose 25 pounds or 16% of body fat, okay. 
<laughs> if that's what it takes. So not very cost efficient. But what else is important? From their data, as soon as you stop taking the medication, guess what? The weight comes back, and if not even more, and I'm starting to, what I kind of phrase, a neurological disconnect. I'll go further than that in another video, but so we've got the 25 pounds off, we've paid our $9,000, we're down 16% body fat, and if that's 16% body fat, that means 16% muscle as well as lost, 50% of that 16. So in long term, it already states, if we come off these shots, the weight's gonna come back. So what are you supposed to do? Take the, a shot for the rest of your life? Not healthy or sustain, sustainable. Obviously, since we've already talked about, we don't even know the long-term side effects. So, you know, just to me, it, the patient's innately smart. We know this is not health. We know this can't sustain long-term. And we don't know all the underlying side effects. We already know some, and they weren't meant for patients just looking to lose a quick 25 pounds long term. So I got sent this the other day um, for the sheep. This is from from somebody wanting me to prescribe these medications, a company, and it has the the Segmolatuta, the the Latin, the the name from Majorno is the both molecular names on there, but that's actually Majorno, Majorno and then it has the uh, schedule of dosages you know one to four weeks five to eight weeks nine to twelve weeks 13 to 15 weeks and 15 weeks and up and continuing on and each of these intervals the dosage goes up so each you know after four weeks the dosage goes up after eight weeks the dosage goes up after 18 i mean excuse me after 12 weeks dosage goes up after 15 weeks go max dosage forever so obviously that's not health or sustainable i mean we cannot i could imagine doing a shot every week for the rest of my life, especially with the known side effects. You know, the first creed or first anything of any doctor is to do no harm. And we know these things long-term are gonna do harm, especially when they're not used for what they're intended to. So be very, very careful. And what I really specialize in is what we're really doing here at Cairo Weight Loss is what we call evidence-based long-term weight loss sustainability. And what that is, is really what I've addressed in several other videos is metabolic syndrome. You know, there's nothing wrong with doing these shots, but don't make it a long-term fix. If it's something that helps you within a first month or two to get off and then do these things to get your metabolism back, regulate your blood sugar, th those type things, that's where you wanna be. You know, this, to me, this is a bridge or a gap to something else. Long-term, I just don't see it being healthy or safe or sustainable, either cost, frequency, or health-wise. So. I know people are out there and they're getting results. There's nothing wrong with getting results. I'm all about results and results driven. I like sustainable results. I like health and, and, I, and I know the patients, because I talk to them all the time, they've tried this, they've been in the office, the weight comes back and they have these issues because they know in their head that it's, it's not the right thing for them. But if it gives them a jump start and they go on to another journey, continue weight loss and get healthy, that's awesome. And that should be the goal when using these medications. So I hope that was helpful. Thank y'all for y'all's time. Dr. Keith.